Hello everyone, this is Emily and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and install new fonts onto your computer to use with any of your computer programs, but more specifically to use in Silhouette Studio. So in Google I'm going to go ahead and type in free fonts. And you'll see there's a bunch of sites that you can actually download fonts from. But my favorite one is defont.com. And on defont.com you can browse all of their free fonts, either by theme, by author. Uh, you can look at their new fonts, um, their top fonts. And if you have a specific font in mind, you can type in the name in here and search it. So for this one, I think I'm going to download this Snacker Comic font on here. And so I'm just opening it up and you can scroll through here and actually see what the font is actually going to look like. Now one thing to look for is whether or not a font is for personal use only. Now this one happens to be for personal use only, so if you are making and selling products and using this font on it, you are going to want to purchase the full font and commercial license, which in this case you can find here. Now I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm not too worried about that, so I'm just going to go ahead and download this. So you can just click on this box over here on the right. And I'm in Google Chrome, so my downloads come down here into this little bottom bar. If you're in a different browser, you may get a window that pops up. If that window does pop up for you, just go ahead and click open. So I'm going to open this up and you see we have some different files in here. The only one that we really want is this true type font file. Now the easiest and fastest way to download this font is to just double click on this and then all you have to do is click this install button. So go ahead and click that and it's going to install that font onto my computer. Now if you're having problems with that and that's not working for you, there is another way to do this. So you're going to go ahead and open up your control panel, go to appearance and personalization, and click on fonts. Now this is going to open up the file where all of your fonts are stored. I'm just going to go ahead and put that over here. And now this file that you downloaded is a zip file, so you're going to need to extract the files inside the zip file. So I'm just going to go ahead and click extract all files, click extract. And again, we're only concerned about this true type font file. Now what you're going to do is click and hold and drag it over into this fonts window. And now since I just downloaded, downloaded this font already, it's telling me that it's already been installed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Yeah, why not? And there you go. It should be on your computer now. Um, one thing to note is that you should have your Silhouette Studio or any program closed while you are downloading fonts. Um, and if you do have them open while you install the fonts, you may have to close out and reopen them to get them to show up in that program. So I just opened up Silhouette Studio here and I'm going to go ahead and just type a little hello. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to go over here and scroll through all of our fonts. And this one started with an S, it's all the way down here somewhere. And there it is, Snacker Comic. And there you have it. It is now in our Silhouette Studio and you can use this to <laughs> cut out whatever words or whatever you want. Now, one thing to note is that a lot of these fonts, um, when you bring them into Silhouette Studio, you may notice that the cut lines uh, intersect each other and go over each other, overlap. Um, and if you cut it out like this, it's going to cut up all your letters and you really don't want that. So one thing to do is just click on your word, right click, and weld. And that's going to take care of those lines for you so that it cuts um, this word out in all one piece and you won't have to worry about cutting up those letters. So now for Mac users, I am not a Mac user so I'm not 100% sure on this but I'm fairly certain that the process is just is pretty similar to what you would do um, on Windows but you may need to research that a little bit. Um, now 
anyways, <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, hopefully this has helped you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, if you guys have any requests for certain videos for the silhouette, um, I can do those as well. Just let me know. And I may post those up for you guys. So anyways, again, hope this helps. Thank you all for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.